Hi everybody, welcome back to the kitchen. Today we are hanging out and making a really quick um, and as usual, um, a simple healthy version of banana bread. Today's recipe is like 100% vegan, guilt-free. So there is no dairy, like no butter, no cow's milk, um, no eggs. That's something that's usually really common in these like quick breads. And in addition to that, there's no added sweetener. So no sugar, honey, maple syrup, anything like that. It's only relying on the sweetness of the bananas themselves. So on the one hand, the recipe is healthier and it's also, um, in my opinion, it's better tasting because it's not like sweet and cakey. Instead, it's like more of a bread, more of a banana bread than a banana like cake or a banana cupcake. Um, so let's get into it, and as we cook, we'll talk about the ingredients and the nutrition information. And please remember to like, subscribe, and comment while we get this bread started. I like to start with six whole, large bananas, and I like them to be very much over-ripened. As we peel open the bananas, we can discard any bits that seem bruised or unappealing. And then I puree them in the blender to make sure that they are fully and smoothly incorporated into the whole bread loaf. Along with the bananas, I'll add two thirds cup of coconut oil and two thirds cup of an unsweetened, unflavored soy milk. I like to start off the blending process on the grind setting to get it started, and then I'll use the liquify setting to finish it um, smoothly. Also, let's remember to compost compostable waste. Um, and now that we have this liquid started, I'll add a full tablespoon of vanilla extract and a full teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Then I'll do a half teaspoon of just plain salt and mix it together. There's no need for an electric mixer here, so we can just use a sturdy spoon or spatula. For the dry ingredients, we'll blend oats, all-purpose flour, and whole wheat flour. I'll thoroughly process one and a half cups of old-fashioned oats to create a cup of oat powder, oat flour. This gives the bread like a cozy aroma and a chewy texture. Um, next, we'll do one cup of all-purpose flour and one cup of whole wheat flour. You don't have to get perfect with your measurements. This recipe is easy, simple, forgiving. It allows you to relax and have fun in the kitchen without too much pressure. To give this heavy bread mixture a little bit of a lift, we'll add two teaspoons of baking powder and a teaspoon of baking soda, making sure that we mix everything together until it's still just a little bit lumpy. You can bake this just as it is, um, but I like a chunky, tasty snack. So of course, this is gonna add more calories and more fat to the mix, but I personally enjoy it. So we're gonna add two cups of chopped walnuts. Again, mixing it um, into a smooth batter and then we will put it in these two loaf pans that have some cooking oil um, spread inside and they will bake for 35 minutes in a 350 degree oven, which is 175 Celsius for people living in the whole rest of the world. While our banana bread bakes, let's clean up this mess and talk a little bit about the nutrition information. So just as a short recap, we are working with some pretty wholesome whole foods ingredients. We're not adding a lot of um, processed things. Of course, the all-purpose flour is pretty much, it's processed soy milk, coconut oil, um, those things aren't really whole foods, but bananas, oats, whole wheat flour, etc., makes a wholesome snack. Now, as I mentioned before, we are looking at a pretty um, calorie and fat dense food, but for my personal um, health needs and health consciousness, I'm more concerned about the um, carb 
to fiber ratio and the amount of sugar that I'm consuming. So I'm very satisfied with this snack that has 12% carbs, 16% fiber. I think that's a really nice balance for me. And I um, will never hesitate to reach for something that gives me the sweetness of these bananas with only seven grams of actual sugar, none of which is coming from non-food sources. So, um, the whiska.com people are giving this recipe a D minus or a D, like a solid D on the health score, but um, I think it's pretty well worth it. So now let's check out the finished product and take a look at what the slices are like. This bread is soft and it's chewy. It also has, um, you know, all of those really filling walnuts, all of that really filling whole wheat and oat flour. Um, it pulls apart nicely. It also has a pretty firm, uh, like crumb texture. You can put it in the toaster the next day or even maybe tonight with, um, put some butter on it, have a cup of tea. Overall, it's just really warm and comforting. Okay, so here is our finished product. Thank you all so much for baking with me today. If you did like this video, um, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. I try and put up a recipe every week. Um, and then also, if you make this recipe or if you have your own hacks or tips or tricks, for baking a guilt-free banana bread, please let us know by sharing in the comments below. And um, I'll see you guys all next week. Bye.